Welcome Leo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Lover's Oracle, doesn't necessarily mean it's a love reading but if it turns into that, it does The Mystical Wisdom card deck and The Light Says Tarot Alrighty Leo, let's get into it Three cards for Leo please Three cards for Leo First card. Okay. Loving it. Okay, next card. Last card for Leo. Thank you. Alrighty. Leo, let's have a look at what we've got here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Yep, I guess it's, you know, that thing, Leo, of what's important. You know, what is truly important? The relationships we have, the love we share. Okay, so I guess too, I want to say about that, Leo, is this is about making sure that your relationships, whatever form they come in, are nurturing, are fulfilling, From both aspects you know anyway let's move on okay next card here imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life and the last card here a message for you I'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light I love you. Beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. So, you know, this could be someone that um, you're in a relationship who you're no longer in a relationship with, or it could even be from someone who has passed. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. So, two cards for the first card for Leo, please. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Beautiful. Two cards for Leo, please. Shuffling nothing. <laughs> All right. There we go. First card out. This is flipped over too. <clears throat> okay, Leo. Face your fears. Release the power of fear. Yeah. Do you know what? I feel like I need to shuffle for that second one because I don't feel like it was right coming out like that. But I love this. Face your fears. This is beautiful. One more card. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. That's how we wanted it. This is money. Find a way to abundance. Okay, interesting, and this is abundance, not necessarily about financial abundance, but abundance in everything in your life, Leo, absolutely everything, and then that will bring in the money that you require. Okay, so face your fears. Some of you may only focus on money and wonder why nothing else around you is working, and um, it could be a matter of you needing to to look at the other areas that you can create abundance in. Okay, so facial fears. Two cards for facial fears for Leo, please. Some of you may be um, having money problems and a bit scared um, or, or worried about what's going on there. Okay, um, but... It really is about looking at these fears here, Leo, so that you can get everything into alignment, okay? Um, because when we allow those fears to rule us, everything goes a little bit crazy, okay? And it doesn't, nothing works. Nothing works the way we want it to. Like this one here, right? The Knight of Swords. She's beating on this drum. She's having the time of her life, but she's going too hard. Okay, the drum is making heaps of noise. The horse is freaking out in the background and the drum is actually catching on fire. 
okay because she's not taking things in moderation here she's it's kind of like actually a distraction from her fears it's like yeah 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 let's beat this drum let's beat this drum Because it's it's to quieten down the noise in her head of the fears that it is that she is not facing. Because we've got the nine of swords here. Okay, and this is yeah, trying to trying to quieten the noise in the mind. And I feel like here, Leo, particularly with this first card coming up here really is about putting things into perspective and, and looking at the bigger picture here, right? Because there are things that are distracting you or things that are maybe not distracting, that could be the wrong word, but there are things that you're focusing on which are taking you away from what the bigger picture is actually about. Okay, so the next card we have is money. Find a way to abundance. And this is the thing. Your fears will not allow you to get to the abundance that you want to reach. Okay, so it is really incredibly important for you to deal with those fears because this is what is stopping you. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Cups here. Beautiful. And the Magician. So this is... It's interesting this has come up with money, but I want to say with this find a way to abundance, this is the abundance of love, right? Of, of creating this, creating this for yourself, creating this around you, in your life, in every aspect of your life, be it your work, your relationships, your friendships, your um, family ships, your your hobbies, you know, your religion spiritually, right? Anything that is creating fear in you needs to be dissolved, okay? And so it's really working as the magician because the fact of the matter is, Leo, you have all the tools at your disposal, at your disposal in order to create this Ace of Cups. And this is a new beginning in love. This is a new beginning of a way of being coming into your heart and really allowing that to lead the way in your life. Because when you are looking at money and the abundance that you're trying to reach, if you're doing a job that you absolutely despise, it's going to be difficult for you to be in the vibration of drawing in something that is matching what it is that you're aiming towards. Because you too, you know, there's this denser vibration in here of like, I hate my job. I don't even want to be here every single day. And yet there's this, there's this desire to get to this place of having this blissful life. So there's too much of a gap here. There's actually no connection whatsoever happening. Okay, so this is incredibly important. Right, so the next card here. Two cards for this second card for Leo, please. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Yep, 100% man. I want to say too here, Leo, is that to broaden your focus, because if it's only, for example, on money, since that card has come up, but that could be anything in your life, if it's only on that one particular thing, then you, um, all these other aspects in your life are not being catered to. And in order to get balance in your life, we need to look at every area, not just one. Okay? Because it's sort of like um, there's the sense of, oh, if I just take care of this one, then everything else will fall into place. But you can take care of everything all at once because they all go hand in hand. And it's part and parcel of getting this um, equilibrium flowing in your life, okay? So we have Battle of the Blues. Take steps towards 
positive change. Interesting. And um, this is about your thoughts here, Leo. Okay. Because I feel like, because your thoughts create emotions and it's as though your thoughts are actually causing you to become immersed so much in potentially negative emotions that, um, that it's, again, hard for you to get to the place that you want to go. Okay. Um, and the fact of the matter is you can immerse yourself and positive emotions when we change our thinking all right a very important thing for you to work on and you know that's not to say that when you catch yourself thinking a negative thought that you beat yourself up about it no just say okay that's that is something i wish to change and look at other ways to think about what it is that you are focused on there okay so two cards for battle of the blues for Leo please. Two cards for Battle with the Blues for Leo. Tell me more about this for Leo please. Because when you change that thinking to Leo, you change um you change the um the direction of which of, of where you're heading and you open up these new opportunities that become available to you when when the thinking is negative it's very narrow and so um this is i feel like this is really something that you could be doing right now is just looking at oh this thing didn't work out or i don't have enough i don't have enough right and instead of looking to see that Actually, you know, it's kind of like being in the darkness here and believing that that's all there is. I don't know how to get to the light. I can't see the light because all I can see is down here is this darkness. Instead of standing up and having a look around and seeing that, in fact, the door is maybe locked, but the key is there. So it is really important for you. It's the same with this one here. She's just looking up. She's not looking at in any other direction. She's not standing up to um, get herself out of the emotions which are weighing her down. Okay, she has the sword here, which she can cut herself free if there's any weeds entangling her in these emotions. She can cut herself free. You have the tools, Leo. You have them available to you. You need not search for anything more, for they are there. The star. Look at this. This is you, Leo, heading towards, like, I don't even know. I'm trying to find the words because, like, this is, this energy, I'm getting the energy here and it's like this connection of, um, from your heart space to the truth of who you are. I feel like this for some of you is what is lacking in your life and what you want to get to. But it's pretty hard when you're in this energy. You know, but this is what is there for the taking for you when you tap in because as soon as you do that, as soon as you have that link, everything else pans out as it is meant to. Mm. that's really nice okay seven heavenly virtues keys to goodness oh this is awesome this is really awesome because this is so such a positive energy to roll on from the star to this look at this this is beautiful and this is what you're heading towards right this is what you're ra raising up to when you stand up you'll see the star there shining down on you, right? You'll see that. You'll see that you are the light of the star that shines. This is innately who you are, Leo. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Two cards for seven heavenly virtues, please. I think this is really about you reaching to yourself. You know, sometimes we look that. You know, we look around and think, oh, if only I had this and if only I had that, things would be a lot better. If only I had a loving partner, then it would all be okay. Um, if only I was, you know, 
not in this awful relationship or if I was this with this person or if this person was like this or whatever. Um, when we come into ourselves, none of that matters. None of it at all. And, um, and it then means that everything that is available to us we see as this grace of pure light, of pure love. Two cards for seven heavenly virtues, please. Thank you. Okay, five of wands. Yeah, this is this internal battle here. This is also, though, about you learning to um, kind of like... <sighs> Finding another way to set your soul on fire. Okay. Um, and we have the King of Swords. Yep. Cutting out. Look, the King of Swords, he knows he knows how to communicate really well. Okay. He knows um, that when he communicates, the lines don't get crossed. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. See, this could be, this could actually be miscommunication in the sense of Maybe with another person, but it could also be what you're putting out to the universe. Okay, because it's kind of like some of you are trying to ma manifest something. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's like you're trying to manifest something, but because there's certain areas in your life that you're blocking, the universe is going, but I'm sending this to you in an abundant form. But because it's not in the form that you believe it should arrive in, you think it's not manifesting. Because the other areas of your life are not being taken care of and nurtured to create an overall sense of abundance in your life. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So the next card here. A message for you. Two cards for a message for you. For Leo, please. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, so see, this is the thing, right? Oh, what am I doing? That's not those cards. I did that last time with your reading. Got the wrong cards, but anyhow. Two cards for a message for you. For Leo, please. Um... <sighs> Oh, what's, what was that? What was that message? Yeah, focusing on the money, right? Is cutting out all this love that is there for you. Or focusing on the one thing that is not working. Yeah? Okay, so enlightenment. Pursue spiritual growth. Gorgeous. See, this is another area of your life that you can focus on here, Leo. Um, and, 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 you know, it's so funny because this is what I had um, got before I realized I was not using the right cards. Um, was about this. This is also your guides, your angels, your higher self, right? You. You imagine this is a message for you from you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. Right? Light. I love you. you. Stand in the mirror and you look at yourself in the eyes and say, I love you. If you struggle with that, Leo, then boy, oh boy, there's some work to do on your own self-acceptance and self-love. Two cards for enlightenment. For Leo, please. Two cards for enlightenment for Leo. Because the thing is, okay, three cards then. The thing is, Leo, they're upside down too, so I don't even know what they are yet. When we when we actually um, get to this place of of this, I don't want to say enlightenment because there's so much surrounding that that can appear unreachable um, but what I want to say is pursuing the spiritual growth in whichever way that works for you um, this is going to open up you know this is going to bring you strength this is going to bring you love this is going to bring through this wisdom 
all these areas that I have talked about here today, this is going to absolutely get everything into balance and bring abundance into your life in every shape and form. Okay, so we have got here, wow, wow, yeah, okay. So we've got, sorry, Leo, we've got death and rebirth, we've got the four of cups and we've got the two of cups. <sighs> we've got the ace of cups and the two of cups here. So Leo, this is really about putting an end to the things that are not serving you, okay? Here's the star again, right? The star, connecting with the star, connecting with the light, and this is this love here, okay? This is, because it's kind of like putting on this hood and being like, oh, no, nah, because I'm only focusing on this thing here. I said, just this thing here, just the money, or whatever it is that you're focusing on, right? And so... In that regard, it's kind of like not seeing the Ace of Cups. There's, there's all this focus on the death, not looking at what can be birthed. Okay, it's focusing on what has been lost. And so it's time to rise yourself up and see what it is that can now be created because then you're going to bring in Someone who matches the energy of who you are, who has filled their cup with the same goodness and the same love and the same vision. In the sense of not the same vision for your life, because that's obviously yours and they have theirs, but the same energy of vision, I suppose we could say right you're on the same page basically okay so and this is the thing even if you haven't met this person yet they feel you okay so moving forward get ready for a positive change awesome and this is the thing here leo you just need to move forward okay um here we are oh no not those ones okay so Two cards for moving forward. For Leo, please. I'm getting this thing about this transparency as well. Being transparent with yourself. Being honest with yourself. Crystal clear about what it is that you're aiming towards. Maybe it's time to sit down and do some work on that. Um, and really go, this is what I'm, you know, not just in one area of my life, but this is what I want in all areas of my life. And get very clear on that here, Leo, so that when you're communicating that, um, you, you're you not in doubt of what it is that you expect. And then when it when something comes in and it doesn't quite hit the, the bar, you're like, yeah, no, that's not what I asked for. Sorry, almost. Thank you. But not quite there. But I feel like it's more a sense of feeling it. Okay. And um, and going into your heart and really feeling what it is that you're searching for and that you would like in your life rather than an image. Okay, so two cards for moving forward. Get ready for positive change. It's one card. One more card. Okay. I feel like this is similar to this letting go of the things that haven't served you, okay? This could be you also um, remembering back to a time in a relationship, um, particularly, or even, you know, in your childhood, this could be someone that you've lost. Um, Honouring, I suppose. Honouring that. You know, when we lose people, it's heartbreaking. But we also have to remember to honour the love that we had for these people and that they had for us, you know? So really letting that go, okay? Releasing all that pain up to the higher source. Releasing it to the light, 
to be dissolved, to be transmuted, to bring back into your life. Pure love. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Leo, that's it. I'm going to leave that with you. Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.